Lambo, what are you doing, brother? Come on, man, get out of here. Let's go. I got a, I got a show to do. Got a lot of important information to discuss with the fine people out here in YouTube land. In fact, what are we discussing today? We're discussing the new advertiser-friendly content guidelines for YouTube. 2019 July edition. So, guys, well, what we're going to be doing is a little bit of a different kind of an episode today. We're just we're going to be filming like this, and at the same time, I'm going to start recording right here. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. Today, we're going to be discussing the new YouTube advertiser-friendly content guidelines. Yeah, I know. Sounds like a mouthful. But uh, yeah, long story short, you already know we're about to hit another ad apocalypse and a lot of people are being affected by it right now and uh, so therefore you know I decided to make a video about the new YouTube advertiser friendly content guidelines yeah I know uh, you already know how I feel about this stuff but yeah before I you know um, before I start on my rants let's just get to it okay let's just get to this uh, what's going on out here alright guys well what made me to want to make this video above and beyond anything else was the fact that all of a sudden as I'm uploading videos I'm starting to get demonetized you know more than usual and um, especially you know when, when I uploaded yesterday's video which is the July 4th you know 4th of July episode you know um, just talking very positively about the United States of America all of a sudden you know th as you guys can see I'm filming this before you guys are actually watching that and it's not it hasn't even been um, seen by anybody and, and as soon as I uploaded it it's already um, you know not suitable for advertisers and so you know we're gonna go a little deeper into that okay um, right off the bat you know let's just discuss what it means um, for you know when a video is not advertiser friendly so this the little yellow thing that is right by the little yellow um, circle that says demonetized not suitable for others um, for advertisers what that means is um, honestly let's uh, break that down real quick okay so YouTube separates videos into two categories you know category one which is videos that are monetized with advertising and then videos that are not monetized with advertising there's two categories all right now a lot of videos out there don't qualify for advertising and um, therefore they're just not monetized to begin with now my channel is monetized but as you guys already know I, I've, I've not only am I getting demonetized now but I've been demonetized in the past now a copyright strike or a copyright um, infringement is completely different as you guys can see I've also get copyright infringement copyright strikes from time to time oh, seems like it's gonna rain um, and therefore it must be the YouTube gods right um, and so this is a completely different thing we're gonna start you know we're gonna separate what's what all this means now YouTube as a company separates videos into two categories all right monetized and not monetized when a video is monetized that means advertisements are put in front of them and therefore they become more valuable to YouTube and they want to put those videos in front of as many people as humanly possible so that they can make money off the advertising as well all right now when a video is not monetized aka your channel doesn't qualify for monetization or B um, the video becomes demonetized with the little yellow thing what that means is that now all of a sudden your video is put into another category the category um, in which um, the, you know the, the videos are you know not monetized and so therefore uh, when, they're, when they're put into that category all of a sudden the algorithm looks at them very differently the algorithm favors monetized videos so that they can make money and it doesn't like videos that are not monetized so what happens is is that when a video is monetized it gets put in front of a lot of people when a video is demonetized or your channel is not monetized at all or your videos are not monetized for whatever reason because some people choose to do that then all of a sudden your videos are put in put in front of a less people so to come full circle, let me let me close this window real quick here. Right? Sorry guys, sorry about that. You know, so to come full circle, what it really means is that, you know, for my channel, for for, for instance, I the only reason I monetize my videos is because I want them to be shown to as many people as possible. That's basically it. 
I don't make that much money off YouTube, but sure, I make like around 50 bucks a month off YouTube. Not bad. I get paid every two months. That's kind of like how it works. A little, I gotta meet the $100 threshold. But anyways, enough about me. The reality is, I could put more advertising in between my videos, but I choose not to. I just do the bare minimum so that that way it gets it gets shown into in front of in front of as many people as humanly possible. So if you guys want to help out the channel, um, one thing that you could do is watch the advertising. All right, that's basically it. All right, and that'll give me a few cents here and there. That's one way you can help. But again, I digress. Why this is important to me and to a lot of YouTubers out there is because this is censorship. All right, this is literally um, you know 1,000% censorship, and so we can discuss. You know back and forth you know um the pros and cons of censorship or the realities of censorship meaning that you know a lot of people say that you know youtube it's its own private company they can do whatever they want other people say that they, they should become a public utility and so on and so forth there's a lot of uh, um different ways in which you know you can talk about this or discuss this but right now we're not going to talk about that we're just going to talk about the fact that you know what this means okay so now these are my videos okay and as you guys can see you know, um, well, you guys can't necessarily see the whole But as you guys can see, um, demonetized, 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 you know, and I get demonetized like, you know, um, Monday Motivation or my live streams or, um, you know, Julian Assange. Again, uh, talking about Trump and Mexico. These things are demonetized. Again, I got demonetized here for a very friendly uh, United States of America video. So, it's it's pretty random I mean it's as random as it gets all right hold on let's move back over here okay now I, I started getting a little curious you know when it came to this because I was thinking to myself well why are they demonetizing um, I, I get my live stream but I don't know why they're demonetizing top six reasons why I love Mexico or Monday motivation or again even the 4th of July episode so then I started to do a little homework and I clicked on request review. When you click on request review, you, you come across this page. And on this page right here, you know, this is all part of the editing. If, you're, you, edit, if you upload videos, you know exactly what this page looks like. And um, normally, I, you, you don't have this little yellow stuff here. But this yellow stuff is coming about because, again, my video is demonetized. Not suitable for most advertisers. And we're going to discuss what that means. Now... For, why, why this affects small YouTubers the most and why this is so you know horrible for most small YouTubers is the fact that, again, um, when you click on request a manual review, which I recommend you don't do because there's other YouTubers out there like YouTube Law and others that talk about these things and explore these things and, uh, and really bring all this stuff up. All right, it's starting to rain. Sorry, guys. Sorry about that. A little storm little freak storm coming in out of nowhere um actually you know it's, it's already about that time of day it's a uh, late afternoon but anyways as i was saying what happens is that like all of a sudden what was i talking about uh, da -da 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 -da. oh yeah when you request a manual review that actually puts you in the doghouse when it comes to youtube youtube doesn't like that whenever you request whenever you request a manual review that literally puts red flags on you, on your channel, on your videos, so that YouTube is paying even more attention to your channel, and um, and again, does you know things um, to literally affect your channel in a negative way. So again, not recommended. You request a manual review. On top of that, when you actually do request a manual review, you get this prompt. It says, right now, we are only able to review videos with at least 1,000 views in the past seven days. We re we'll review your video when it reaches that threshold and give you a final decision within a week. So again, you gotta, it's, it's, it's more like around uh, two weeks wait time for small channels to get um, some sort of manual review from YouTube. And again, it's not guaranteed. And most likely, again, it just puts you in the doghouse. And again, most channels with small, um, you know, small channels have... Um, you know, don't even make it to a thousand views. So again, this is why this is very detrimental and affects a lot of people out there. Anyways, coincidence that it's raining right now? I don't know. Anyways, you be the judge. So I, I decided to keep exploring. I decided to click on, you know, the not suitable for advertisers thing here, which brings you to this page right here. I'm gonna put a link at the bottom of this video so that you guys can read this on your own. We're just gonna go through this very, very quickly, okay? 
because the weather's getting pretty bad out there. Here, let me disconnect the video, the computer. I don't want like some uh, random electric. Uh, what is it? A uh, thunder and lightning to fuck my shit up. But you know, as I was reading through this, you know, I started coming across a bunch of things that were like, oh boy, all right, not good, no bueno. And again, I, we talk about a lot of this stuff on this channel. I very rarely do any videos like this. I just felt the need that I had to make a video like this and publish it as soon as possible because, hey, this is going to start affecting people. It's already affecting a lot of people and a lot of channels, especially ones, you know, spreading the truth, spreading knowledge and all that kind of stuff. And it doesn't matter. Like, for example, on my channel, you know, I, I, I use profanity. And so by using profanity, I already know that I could get demonetized, but I never ever get demonetized. Now, all of a sudden, they're starting to crack down on this even further to the point where, you know, look at this right here. It says, if, uh, you know, if you use strong profanity, all right, in the video, and even if it is bleeped for comedy, documentary, news or educational purposes, it doesn't matter. It's already going to get demonetized. If you have horror videos, any kind of like horror, you know, there's a bunch of channels out there that do horror stuff, horror makeup, special effects, you name it. You know, all kinds of content relating to that. Again, you're going to start getting affected and demonetized. You know, um, we're going to skip the adult content right now because that's obvious, you know, obvious right there. You know, um, there's other avenues in which you can go um, get your adult content. But again, now when you start going through, you know, harmful or dangerous acts, you know, now all of a sudden it's starting to affect all kinds of videos, you know, videos of just uh, bloopers or videos of pranks, you know, videos of all kinds of things. Again, this is becoming, it's just very broad. It keeps getting more broad and broader and broader and broader, you know, meaning that more rules, more regulations, more things that you could do wrong. And the thing is that how, you know, how this is really bad is that literally... This, me and Lambo could be talking about the same subject, but when I talk about the subject, literally, I'm against what YouTube or the propaganda wants to be said, so then all of a sudden I get demonetized. But if Lambo speaks about it, and Lambo is speaking favorably, you know, meaning how YouTube wants, then all of a sudden they get monetized. So even talking about the same subject, you know, again, it doesn't. It, none of that is guaranteed that your video is going to get um, monetized or not. It's all about falling into their propaganda. You know, falling into what they want to talk about. You know, like for reals. If it falls in favor with what the government allows, with what they want, with what their talking points are okay with, then they'll allow it. If you go against, you know, um, what they want, you know, telling the truth you know, giving a different point of view that is not what the government um, says and so on and so forth, then you're going to get demonetized and you're going to get hurt. And um, that's why this is no bueno. So, you know, all of a sudden down, when you start going down further, you know, you go to hateful content, you know, again, anything that talks about race, ethnicity, or ethnic origin, nationality, religion, disability, age, veteran status, sexual orientation, gender identity, any other characteristic associated with systematic discrimination or mag or marginalization. That's it, you know what I mean? Just me talking about talking about this is enough to demonetize my video. So just to give you another, you know, um, idea of how you know all this is. And again, all this is basically. Oh yeah, sorry. I, well, I thought it was. Um, and all this is basically legalese. You know, all this stuff, you know, basically boils down to what legalese is, which again, it allows them to set a large, a broad, you know, um, set of rules that they get to choose to apply what, as they see fit. So again, you know, Lambo could never get affected, but I could be affected all the time because they're picking on me because again, they could discriminate on me, but you know, others. You know, and then they can choose who gets to discriminate on what. Again, we already know that certain groups are being affected. Other groups are not being affected by this stuff. And again, this is why, um, you know, the censorship is uh, very scary. You know, again, uh, when we keep going down, you know, so when you start talking about drugs and drug-related content, it's not necessarily talking about horrible drugs. It could be talking about, again, cannabis, coffee shops, pipes, bongs. You know, um, when you're talking about holistic medicine, you know, when you're talking about, you know, um, any other kind of medicine that is not part of the, uh, what is it, the um, medical industrial complex or big pharma, 
if all of a sudden you're going up against big pharma then it's it's uh, it's no bueno man i hope the rain is not affecting the sound too much i know it probably is and i apologize for that in advance but hey i'm making a lot of videos because i got vacation with family coming up and uh, as you guys can see you know i got a lot of videos you know prompted that i still got to upload plus everything that i already uploaded and so on and so forth so please bear with me i apologize so anyways let's get back to it so again if you're talking about firearms any kind of firearms again now they're infringing on the second amendment so again anything even if you're talking about hunting in any shape or form but anything that you're talking about when it comes to guns again second amendment is now being affected if you are now a journalist this is now the the, the problem you know the things that i really wanted to talk about you know journalism so again sensitive events so if you talk about war literally any kind of war if you kind of talk about death and tragedies relating to that or any any kind of death or tragedies again you're going to be demonetized controversial issues so anything that has to do with political conflicts you know anything that has to do with terrorism or extremism again you know you're going to be demonetized um and uh, and so on and so forth so you know guys I'm, i i urge you guys to really look into this all right i'm gonna again put a post a link at the bottom uh, of the description of this video so that you guys can look into this yourselves and um see what this you know how, how horrible you know this is all going to start getting i mean this is only the very very beginning of all this. this is no bueno guys and um you know now let's discuss real quick you know because i had this on the tip of my uh, tongue that i wanted to talk about you know because right now there's two schools of thoughts you know there's one school of thought that says hey you know youtube and and twitter and facebook and all these entities they are private companies they're private entities and they get to do whatever they want if they don't want to show something they don't have to show something if they want to demonetize whatever they want to demonetize but the thing is that you know normally me as a very hardcore capitalist i would agree with you there but the reality is is that this this situation doesn't fall into that category anymore and let me explain why because all of a sudden you know things like youtube twitter facebook and others they fall into the category of a monopoly right now and the reason that they fall into a monopoly is because again as other alternatives pop up they're being extinguished by this by by other group you know by the same groups that are running these companies and um you know, there's no secret anymore that we already know that Google, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, you name it, they're being run by a certain group of, uh, you know, central bankers, government entities, et cetera, et cetera. That's not what this episode is about. If you want to know more about that stuff, check out my other videos and check out other videos on, uh, you know, talking about those subjects. But at the end of the day, it's already, you know, common knowledge that we know who funds these entities all right and who runs these entities and so therefore you know if they're run by a central group of people okay this central group of people does not allow for other competition to arise and then on top of that they force forces to use these to, you know these things like youtube facebook instagram twitter because again even on facebook even if you don't have a, a facebook account facebook already creates one for you and so therefore there's already facebook accounts about you even even if you've never created one ever um and and again you know right now you know when it comes to youtube you know th that is one of the main pipelines that we all have and uh, most more people you actually watch youtube than even cable tv so therefore again if there's only one and um it's controlled and centralized that, and, and it's uh, and then you know right now with uh, this new set of uh, you know rules and regulations and uh, and um, what am I talking about here? Hold on, the advertiser friendly content guidelines. Um, you know we're we're seeing this um, grow every single day. We're seeing you know these guidelines grow every day. We're seeing more and more things that you cannot talk about. You know every single day. And again, it's it's becoming not it's only it's also becoming broader. Um, on top of that, you know, they're choosing to pick and choose who is being demonetized, not being demonetized. Earlier in the video, we talked about the difference between monetization and not being monetized. And so it's all about censorship more than anything else. Sure, you know, um, we, a lot of us YouTubers count 
on the, the money that we make off of advertisers. But, you know, for the most part, a lot of us have already, um, you know, kind of, uh, you know, that ship has sailed. So we have actually gone the route of, you know, using things like Patreon or using other forms of uh, funding like Bitcoin, cryptocurrency and so on and so forth. And so, you know, we've heard, you know, or, or, you know, in other cases, you know, having our own website, you know, uh, selling products and so on and so forth. So, you know, we've already been able to, you know, cross that hurdle and monetize ourselves. But now it's, it's not about monetization anymore, per se. It's more about censorship. Because, again, if your video is not qualified to be monetized anymore, it's put into another set of, it's put into another um, group. And that group um, is not favored by the algorithm. And so, therefore, the algorithm is already, uh, right off the bat, not going to, you know, spit your video to the masses. So, again, guys, you know, this, this subject and everything that we're talking about when it comes to you know, demonetization, when it comes to um, censorship, it's only getting worse and worse as each day goes on. Whether it's Article 13, Article 11 in Europe that is banning memes and banning all kinds of, uh, you know, all kinds of stuff, you know, literally, no matter what you do or what you say, now it's most likely going to get banned uh, off of YouTube because you're coming from Europe. But now in the U.S., they're also trying to to uh, pass these, uh, uh, you know, their version of Article 13 and Article 11 um, within the U.S. to cause even more censorship. And again, as you see, you know, as each day goes on, this is getting worse and worse. Now, we do have a solution. This is why I talk about Bitcoin and blockchain and all of this stuff all the time, because this is the solution. Because eventually, you know, we are already building um, other alternatives that cannot be stopped by these entities. And that is literally the only way out. Now, it's going to take time. And for now, we don't have a choice but to use YouTube and to use Twitter and Instagram and uh, and Facebook and all this other stuff. But it's, you know, real soon, before you know it, um, we already um, are going to be using these new alternatives that are, you know, um, on this new blockchain and using things like Bitcoin and other crypto and, other, and all this other new technology that will allow us to you know, um, speak our voice again and, and uh, freedom of speech is going to be part of uh, our lives again and we're not going to be able to get censored. And again, it's it's all about, it's not just censoring of speech, but censoring of, uh, the you know, banking, you know, meaning that, remember, a lot of times, you know, when, when they're doing with, uh, you know, s certain people on the right and certain people on the left, they're actually taking their bank accounts away. So, you know, again, you know, with the whole crypto sp stuff, it allows us to, you know, literally be uncensored so this is why more you know another reason why all this crypto stuff is very important okay if you want more information on bitcoin and crypto and blockchain check out the rest of my channel where i talk more in depth about this stuff and i'm starting to make you know a lot of uh, bitcoin 101 bitcoin for beginners and so on and so forth so that you know we can all you know learn more about this together and so on and so forth all right but again guys I, i'm gonna end this video here because uh that's it. I mean, I just wanted to bring this to light. I wanted you guys to check this out. You know, hopefully you'll follow the link at the bottom and um, you guys can, you know, check this out even more. And um, I want to hear your comments. I want to hear what you guys have to say. And I want to discuss this even from more, you know, not just in the comment section, but in my own discord and and uh, and um, just keep discussing and keep talking about this because this is a very important subject and we all need to figure out a solution now. Before I end this video, I want to give a big shout out to all my patrons out there. I want to give a big shout out to all my contributors, all of you out there that send, you know, um, you know, money through the Cash App or PayPal or through Bitcoin or other things like Digibyte or other cryptocurrencies. Every single one of you guys out there that is a patron, every single one of you guys that is always supporting the channel, whether it's through thumbs ups, whether it's sharing. Um, it, it, it's all very, very important. And again, as you're watching this, as you're finishing the, as we're finishing this video and we talked about everything we talked about today, you get to see how much more important it is for you guys to, at the very least, leave a comment, leave a thumbs up, even a thumbs down if you, if you hate this. And, and again, more important than anything else, share these videos and share this knowledge because again, you're seeing that every single day. Um, YouTube is doing everything humanly possible to censor these videos, whether it's through, um, you know, um, demonetization or 
um, and, you know, adding more and more reasons to demonetize videos, you know, through censorship and so on and so forth. Again, it's getting to the point where it's uh, ridiculous, you know, meaning that even if you bleep, even if you bleep out the cuss words, they're still going to um, demonetize you. It doesn't really matter anymore. It's to the point now, you know, right here where it says like, you know, hateful content towards anything. It's like, again, even if I were to post a video with no sound and no video, I'm probably going to get demonetized because I'm probably offending the death and the mute communities out there. I know. It's that ridiculous. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching today. I really appreciate you guys. You guys are beyond awesome. Um, yeah. You know, don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share. And more importantly than anything, have an amazing rest of your um, 4th of July weekend. Have an amazing weekend. And um, I'll see you guys manana. You already know I got videos posting every single day. So don't miss any of them. See you guys later. Peace out.